Hello? Is this thing on? Today we're going to be talking about meal prepping. Before we get into meal prepping, I really want to discuss a little bit about it and why we do it. Because it's one thing if I tell you how to do it, but you're not going to want to do it unless you know why you're doing it. The why I feel is so much more important than the how. And so I wanted to just talk about why we meal prep and what the benefits are. One, you get control over what you get to eat. When you meal prep, you know what you put in your food, and so you can better adhere to your diet. A two, convenience of food. You know you won't be missing meals throughout the day because you'll have your food on you at all times. That's a big problem I get with a lot of my clients and a lot of people that I talk to is that they don't eat. Like they don't, they just don't eat. They eat like once or twice a day. Eating four times a day has been shown to have positive benefits, but I'll try to link that study down below. That way I'm not just spewing out random information. I want to give you guys credible information. Tack on to two, there's kind of an addition to convenience is that you only have to cook once a day when you meal prep. Um, sure, you might microwave some of your food later on, but really you only cook once in the morning or once in the afternoon and you have all your meals for the day. So meal prepping is a great tool that can really help an individual take control of their health and take control of their diet. Let's get to the video guys. Um, I will meet you in my kitchen and we will start prepping the food. So a quick disclaimer, although this video is meant to be informational, I really, really implore you guys that if you're starting a new diet, starting an exercise program, please, please work with a professional fitness instructor. What I say right here, it's, it's what I do. And so it's anecdotal evidence. And so please consult a professional nutritionist on your diet. Please consult a professional personal trainer when starting a new exercise program. And consult your doctor too if you have any problems before you start working with a personal trainer or before you start even entering the gym. This information is not meant for everybody, but it can be helpful to show you and give you ideas of how you can start meal prepping and living a healthier life. Okay? Let's get to the video. This is what I do every morning. Every morning I wake up and the first thing I do before I even start meal prepping is I'll come over here to this table and I'll sit down real quick, right? I'll go on my phone and I use, if I can do it, <laughs> I use something called my fitness pal. Now, a lot of you are, sh I'm sure, are aware of this. So I'm on a really heavy bulk um, of about 3,400 calories. Plenty of uh, calculations and formulas you can use to, to figure out how much calories you need to be eating. Um, I'm not really gonna get into that. Um, I'm just gonna start with just the basics of how to meal prep and such. So. I'll come and I'll track everything that I eat today, um, right here, so I'm gonna do this, and I will get back to you once I've tracked everything that I eat. Guys, so real quick, I just want you guys to see that I have hit my macros for the day, um, well I will once I eat, but basically I measure everything out before in this calculator to make sure all my measurements reach my macros, and hit my calorie count. And then this is like all the measurements for the day. So one table, I'm only gonna use one tablespoon of olive oil, um, half, a, half a can of black beans, just regular black beans, um, nuts and almonds, that's gonna be my main fats for the day. And then a ton of rice, a ton of chicken. And then um, I don't track my vegetables. Um, you're welcome to, I just don't. Um, I just eat a lot of vegetables, <laughs> that's kinda how I do it. We're gonna get started on the food and I'll see you then. All right guys, so I got my daily shake here. Got one cup of frozen berries, all right? And then we have about give or take two cups of almond, almond milk right here. Um, unsweetened, by the way, really important. Want to reduce those sugars as much as you can. One cup of quick cooking oatmeal in this. I like the oatmeal, it gives me a good burst of energy. It's part of my carbs for the day. I have about four tablespoons of organic peanut butter. Now I know what you're thinking, that's a lot of peanut butter, but I'm right now I'm on a bulk, and so the main macronutrient I'm kind of adjusting is my fats, and so I have to use, have to eat a lot of fats in the day right now, and 
Um, I love peanut butter. So fun banana. So fruits are great. They're a great source of energy. A lot of people think there's too much sugars in it. That's a big misconception. It's not the same sort of sugar as you would say table sugar. Fruit contains like 50% fructose, which is it takes longer for your body to break down. Therefore, it's a longer energy source. Now, I don't know the exact details of how fructose works in the body. I'm not a nutritionist, but um, common misconception, fruit is really bad for you. It's not. Every day I have a shake and it's delicious and I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna drink it right now. Sometimes I'll freeze the bananas and that makes it way more shaky, you know? But look at that, it's purple. It's all the berries. Mm. Mm. Delicious, fucking amazing. Mm, it's really good. We'll be like, John, like berries and peanut butter? Like, what is that? I know, I was a little skeptical at first too, but I tried it. It was really, really good. And then we're gonna move on to the actual meal prep. So these are the vegetables I eat in the day. So a little bit right here is a bit of red onion. Um, I have mushrooms, portobello mushrooms, some tomato, um, what's called broccoli, and then Brussels sprouts. And then also I add some kale in there as well as some spinach. Onions, some of the best onions for you. Um, comparatively, they have some of the highest nutrients. You have to do your own research on that. I, I don't really remember off the top of my head why red onions are superior onions, but all of this is really just high in micronutrients. When it comes to vegetables, it's just the more variety, the better. The more color, the better. That way you get a larger variety of micronutrients. Micronutrients is actually the least, the subject I know least about, and I actually want to learn more about it. I just know it's very important to have it, and so I just eat a lot of vegetables every day. All right guys, so now I'm gonna start with the chicken. All right guys, so we have the chicken all cut out, but before we start cooking the chicken, I want to start um, prepping some things. So I'm gonna put the rice in my separate meal prep containers. So I'm gonna have to measure them out uh, using the scale and make sure I have I'm, hitting, I'm eating enough rice for the entire day and splitting it equally among all four of these. So I have my little scale, scale here, and basically you just tear, and then that zeroes it out and includes this weight into the scale. So as you take it off, you see it's like 76 grams. So I need to eat 940 grams of rice for the day. So I'm just gonna type 940, divided by four, and then we get 235. So each one of these meal prep containers should have 235 grams of rice in them. That way I'm eating enough and I'm splitting it equally among the four containers. A lot of you might be asking yourself, well, why, why four? Like, why do I eat four times a day or at least five times a day? Studies have shown that about four times a day has been proven to be beneficial. We have research that shows that four is good and so that's why I'm eating at least four times a day. But I've seen people eat up to five, six times a day. I used to eat six times a day, but I find that four and five times a day really work for me the best, so. All right guys, so now I'm just adding this black beans. It has uh, black beans and water. That's all it has. Um, very low sodium content. It's just regular black beans. That's all I wanted. Um, so I'm only gonna use half the can. I'm trying to keep my fiber a little lower. And so I'm just gonna use half a can here. Try and split up a little evenly. Fail to split it up a little evenly. And that's about maybe half a can. And then I'll store the can for later. Uh, next we're gonna prepare some chicken and then we're gonna fry up the veggies. And then we'll be all done with the meal prep. Oh, and then we'll add the almonds because I need to do that. And then we'll be done with the meal prep. Uh, I'll be frying everything with anic. Uh, olive oil, and I won't be frying it, it's more like a saute. Here we go, here we go, meal prep o'clock. So now we're cooking the chicken for the day. Um, I just added some red pepper flakes, some salt, some pepper. We're just gonna have that chicken cook, and then once we're done with that, then we are going to measure it all out, put it in our meal prep container, and then we're gonna start on the veggies, and then we're done. And that's it. Oh, oh yeah, and the almonds. All right guys, so today I need to eat 70 grams of almonds, so we're just gonna take that. All right, same thing, 70 divided by four, 17.5, so about 18. I like to round up a little bit since I'm in a bulk. All right, so we're just gonna grab the almonds here. These are the sort of skills that bloggers don't tell you about, is like, you need to know how to do things like one-handed. Anyways, all right, so we're just gonna throw this in here. Oh, 
Those are paper clips. Okay, yeah. All right, those are not. <laughs> Oops, I almost just poured paper clips in. All right, so now we're just gonna get up to 18. More. Sometimes this thing likes to be a little strange. Okay, this is a little bit too much. All right, guys, so we've added the almonds. Uh, I like to eat my almonds with my meals, but you can always just put the almonds on the side. I've had a lot of friends tell me like, what, you eat almond with your food? And I'm just like, yeah, you don't? And they're like, nope. But um, again, just adjust it to your own dietary preferences and needs. So I'm still cooking that chicken, and once that's done, I'm gonna saute the vegetables, and then we are done for meal prep for the day. Chicken is pretty much done, so let's just take a look. I need 275 grams of cooked chicken. Now, make sure that says cook because I remember one at one point I was tracking chicken and I was tracking it as uncooked, so I was overeating. So, because when you don't cook chicken, you get less protein than if you cook chicken because of the way your body absorbs protein. I was like, why is it tracking uncooked chicken? Like, you can't even eat uncooked chicken because it's unhealthy, obviously, for salmonella. Long story short, just make sure when you're tracking that it says cooked chicken and not uncooked. So we're gonna take 275. Again, just same thing. I can't do math in my head, but we're just gonna do 275 divided by four. 68.75, so basically 69. So I'm gonna keep that there just so I remember it. I'm gonna put this on here. 64, a little bit more. That's a little bit too much. So we got one, 69, and I'm just gonna do that for the next four. And I'll get back to you guys. All right guys, so now we've got the chicken, we've got the beans, we've got the rice, and we've got the almonds. So the only thing we're missing now is the micronutrients, and that is our beautiful veggies here. All right, so we're on high heat right now. I'm just gonna add some of the veggies right here. I got some spinach and kale. I'm just gonna do a little sizzle. Add some of my broccoli in there, some tomatoes, some mushrooms. I also have some red onion in here too. So we're just gonna add that. So the veggies are ready, so I'm just gonna take the veggies. Take the veggies, I'm gonna put them in each one of these containers. And we're gonna have our meal prep for the entire day. Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. God dang. Love vegetables. All right guys, so here's my meal prep for the day. As you can see, so pretty, look at that. Beautiful. So now we're just gonna put the lids on. One-handed skills. I'm on the go a lot, because I go to school. And so, I don't really have access to like a fridge or anything, but if you, have, if you go to work, and you can have access to a fridge, then maybe use that. Um, I like this box because I can take with me wherever I go. Yeah, but I just put the ice pack in between right here. Um, I love this bag, it's perfect for me. Um, it's my kind of signature thing. All my friends know me as having this, this freaking my little lunch box with me. And so, um, yeah, I take this wherever I go. Um, I'll have like a little fork right in the back here. Um, yeah, I have a little fork right in the back here and I just eat wherever I go. Um, that way I never miss a, miss a meal, I just have my bag on me. Alright guys, so that's the end of my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please leave any questions you guys might have. Um, I know I didn't talk too much about nutrition today, but I'll probably be talking about that in, a, in another video. Basically, I just want to talk a little bit about why we meal prep, what meal prepping is, and how to do it, and how I do it, personally. So yeah, I hope this video was informational and valuable to you guys. Stay fit, stay influential, and stay healthy. Bye-bye. <laughs>